Welcome to AdvantageWheelAlignment.com's Professional Digital Camber Caster Gauge Quick Start Guide. This Quick Start Guide is designed to get you up and running with your tool in no time. When measuring camber with your tool, it's simply a matter of putting the tool up against the wheel and taking a reading directly off the screen. Unfortunately, there are times when we do wheel alignments that the floor may not be perfectly level. If the floor is not level, it can induce error into our camber gauge reading. Fortunately, our tool has a quick and easy calibration method to compensate for any unlevel surface so that accuracy can still be obtained. The first step is to remove the camber caster module from the tool and place it on the floor next to the tire that we're going to measure. Then we'll turn the unit on using the on off button. Once the unit is powered up, we'll hold the on off button again for five seconds until the unit shuts off. This puts us into calibration mode. Once we turn the unit back on, a one will appear automatically on the screen when we power up. Now we press the zero button and that one will be followed by an H and it will begin to flash. Then it will turn to a two. Once we have the two on the screen, we're going to press the zero button again. The two will be followed then by an H also, which will begin to flash. And then automatically the tool will read zero. This means the tool is calibrated for the unlevel surface and is ready to go. Simply place your camber gauge up against the wheel, level the bubble at the end of the gauge, and take your camber reading directly off the screen. It's that simple. Now let's take a look at caster. When measuring caster, you'll notice that you are provided with a caster layout template. The purpose of this layout template is to allow us to turn the wheels 20 degrees in each direction without the use of a turntable or other measuring components. The advantage of this template is that we can do this right on the floor and we can quickly and accurately give 20 degree measurements using our caster template. Keep in mind that caster is simply camber change in a turn, so this is why your tool does a great job with this. The first step is to tape the template to the floor. Now, in this case, we have some electrical tape lined along the template, so we bend the template in half, line it up with the wheel, and using a felt tip pen, a straight edge, or in this example, electrical tape, we will use this guide to show us 20 degree marks on the floor. We'll use these marks to line up our gauge. So in this case you can see we have electrical tape lined in the same axis um, as the 20 degree mark on the left and of course we have it also following along the 20 degree mark on the right. You can go right onto the paper. We prefer to have it back so we can remove the paper if necessary while turning the wheel. Now your first step measuring caster is to turn the wheels 20 degrees in the right. And the reason this is is because we're measuring the right front wheel. If we were on the left front wheel we would start by going 20 degrees to the left. Once we go 20 degrees to the right while standing looking down at the caster gauge we basically you're going to turn the wheel so that the caster gauge is parallel with the tape. You can see the green arrow in the picture that shows that our caster gauge is now parallel with the tape. Once we have the wheel parallel with the tape, we're going to push the zero button followed by the caster button. Once we push this button, the display will flash showing that you're in caster mode. Now simply turn the wheels 20 degrees to the left, level the bubble on your caster gauge, and take the reading directly on the screen. In this case, the caster is 6.2 degrees. It's that simple. Detailed instructions are found in your toolkit, but hopefully this video will help get you up and running in no time and find just how easy it is to do camber and caster with your new tool. Thanks for watching.